It was you, wasn't it? You're the reason I'm missing my championship match with Bianca. Again! Oh, it's hardly my fault. Your car service was way too willing to accommodate your new itinerary. You know, they really should have some sort of security on that. Figured the least I could do was play hooky from Raw 2 so we could have a little chat. You really want to do this here? Fight in an airport lounge? Absolutely not. They'd never let me back in, and I love their little mini cupcakes too much. I just want what's mine. What exactly is that, Shotzi? I can't go back in time and hire you at TBD. I can't go back and put you in war games. Your obsession with me is unhealthy. What's unhealthy is theft. And I'm not just talking about war games. You may have gotten a free pass from Regal to waltz around WWE, ripping off other people's ideas, moves, and gear, but you didn't get a free pass from me. You're the number one contender. That should be me. Put it on the line in a match, win or lose, we are done after that. If it means never having to deal with your BS again, fine, you're on. But only because there's no way I lose. Here she is, the formidable and unflappable Cap. The following is a Falls Count Anywhere match. Making her way to the ring from Phnom Penh, Cambodia, Stephanie. Ever since she arrived in WWE, we've been wondering who Cap really is. Now, I think everyone can see. A natural leader who is earning her colleagues' respect? That seems like a good reputation to have. It's time for Indy Cred to be put to the test. an unpredictable, unorthodox in-ring competitor. I'd say it's more like she's demented, not all there, and she likes it. Shotzi doesn't conform to other people's ideas about the type of superstar she should be. She doesn't let others' judgment define her. She is her own person through and through. Shotzi is all about going balls to the wall. 
This young woman is always ready to go to battle to give everything she's got in the process. From the moment the captain arrived in WWE, Shotzi has had it out for her. Now they finally meet again to settle their issues. This goes back even further to the independent scene. It's a long-standing grudge that transitioned to WWE and then was punctuated with a tank attack. It seems like a false count anywhere match is a perfect way for these two to wrap up their long-time battle. Capped off with a big one. Nothing was being held back with each of those strikes. Quick reflex is so important in a match like this. Down low with the drop kick. Basement drop kick, what impact. Shotzi's mind didn't look to be in the game there. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. And Shotzi is being taken apart here. Destructive amount of work being done to Shotzi right now. The Tetlip German suplex. I do not see this match going on much longer with too many more moves like that from them. You have got to be in elite physical condition to pull off something like that. From the apron. Fist directly to the gut. Good chance for her to gain her wits about her. She heads into the ring. <laughs> kick right on point. And she's been brought to a disadvantage now. Yeah, now she has to turn this momentum around. Oh my God, what an elbow. Things not going how she'd like. Starting to lose a step or two, but good news is there's plenty of real estate to catch your breath. Fought off with an elbow. That could be the spark she was looking for. What are we gonna see next? Sosa guillotine leg drop. It can she do it here? She kicks out with authority after two. If she keeps the pressure on, the next one might do it. I don't know if Shotzi can withstand much more of this. Shotzi has to find an opening and respond. Oh, ouch! Uh-oh, second rope. Oh, that might be the best moonsault. Shoulders down! She's still got something left! How in the world? some force on that move. So much pride, so much resiliency on display. Ooh, toe to toe, treating each other like heavy bags. Ooh. Each exchange just sapping the energy from these two. Oh, man. Shotzi with the retaliation, the willpower, the sheer guts of these two. Rapid fire shots. Not your superstar backing down. Oh. 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 That shot ends things. Boom. This could be big. Oh my God. Oh my God. Nothing shots he can do now. Cover. After years of antagonism, Cap has finally put Shotzi behind her. What a win. I don't think Shotzi got the memo, Saxton. She's not going to take this insult lying down. Spear out of nowhere from Bianca Belair. The women's world champion just obliterated Shotzi. Looks like Bianca's just as tired of Shotzi's shenanigans as anyone. And now the champion and the number one contender are facing off. We may not have to wait for a match. This could jump off right here. It's finally happening. The number one contender in the Women's World Champion will finally go one-on-one. -on -one. It's about darn time. This is going to be an epic clash for that championship, and I can't wait to see it.
Thanks for having my back out there. I was annoyed. Honestly, I think the whole WWE universe was. So, I guess this means we're finally gonna get our match, huh? You're pretty excited for someone who's about to get handled. <laughs> I see how it is. Well, you just go ahead and underestimate me, champ. Oh, I don't underestimate you at all. I've seen your stuff on the indies. I know you can go, but so can I. You've watched my indie matches? I didn't know you'd be into that. What? Just because I started wrestling at WWE and never had an independent run doesn't mean I can't appreciate what you did there. I mean, that dive off the balcony against La Congrejita Loca? Wild. Self-destructive and probably ill-advised, but wild. Man, if you had ever been a free agent when I was in TBD, I would have gladly jumped off a balcony against you too. That sounds like a blast, except I'm the one who would have been doing the jumping. Don't get me wrong, I'm happy with how I came up, but I do sometimes wonder what an indie career would have been like for me. It sounds like an adventure. Huh. What? Just gets me thinking about our match about whether I'm going to pin or submit you? No, well, not exactly. Someone recently pointed out that I was lucky enough to experience a fantastical whirlwind tour when I got to WWE. I got to have the adventure. I'm wondering if I should pay it forward. What do you have in mind? You're confident you're gonna beat me anyway, right? Anytime, any place. I was really hoping you'd say that. You want to do what? It's just going to be two matches. Best of three series. So yeah, it might go to if Bianca really has no fight in her. It'll probably go to. That's as many as I need. It's not the best of three series that gives me pause. It's the locales. It is the usual custom to defend the WWE Women's World Championship on WWE TV. Sure, we could do that if we want to stick with what's comfortable or, get this, we fight for the Women's World Championship in the coolest indie arenas around. Japan, Mexico, we could even go back to your old stomping grounds in the UK. Honestly, Sounds like a great way to push that grassroots international exposure you business types are always talking about. And you know what else it sounds like? Oh, I'm positive you'll tell me. It sounds like a big swing. It sounds like taking advantage of every opportunity on the table. And it sounds like doing something different without being afraid to fail. I know what you're getting at, and I'm not sure I like you turning my words back on me. I'm sorry to interject, but this is ridiculous. It's, it's unheard of, allowing a WWE champion to defend at these underground indie shows, untelevised? What about, what about the advertisers? Advertisers? Really? I'm afraid Troy makes an excellent point. Marketing will hate this. See? Fortunately, this is not a marketing company. This is a professional wrestling company. A professional wrestling company that's going to take a swing and whose general manager cannot wait to get on the road. Ugh. The only question is, where to first? Don't look at me. This is your world. I'm just the adventuring tourist who gets to hit you wherever you so choose. It may be my world, but I say we make it your world to start. What if we go back to your old territory? Match one at Club UK. 
God save the king. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Phnom Penh, Cambodia, Stephanie!
Dear, dear, dear. That cannot have gone as you'd hoped. No. Everything went exactly according to my plan of getting hit in the face a bunch. Are you regretting giving Bianca the invitation into the Indies? Not at all. I miss the intimacy of a smaller show, the interaction with the fans. Just didn't expect Bianca to pull the same energy from the crowd quite as easily as she did. Bianca got very comfortable very quickly. If she had come up in the Indies, I would have wanted her for TBD. But that's not going to stop me from beating her at her next stop. Which raises the question, where to next on this great tour of the world? I've been giving that some thought, with an ice pack on my jaw. Bianca hits hard, and so do I. So let's go to the home of strong style, Japan. Sure, if you buy at the Japanese steakhouse we always go to. Deal. That feels like a fitting celebration once I beat Bianca. But only the food. I'm not buying you another jacket. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Phnom Penh, Cambodia, Stephanie!
Ladies, it appears that you two will be going to a final match. Fitting, really. Winning that championship will be even sweeter after going the full series. Don't get cocky. No way you beating me twice in a row. Before you two launch into a witty repartee, I have an update. I've just spoken to the suits in Stamford. They have... thoughts. Well, that's never good. Word of your genuinely marvelous matches has spread, and so has the buzz. They were insistent that the next match will be on WWE television. They want us to do the match on Raw? You promised us we could see this through in indie arenas. Indeed I did, so I reached an agreement. We will be producing a portion of next week's Raw live from the location of your final match. Oh, wow. Uh, listen, I know this is a stretch, but how would you both feel about having the match at T... TBD? Yes, a surprising and unexpected suggestion from you. Which is why I have already given instructions for the road crew to meet us there. Wow, it's going to be super embarrassing to lose on your home turf. But I, for one, am here for it. One idea, though. What's that? With everything I know about TBD, and since it's the final match, kind of seems like it should be no DQ, right? Bianca Belair, you have no idea what you just asked for. <laughs> Deal. Geneva is going to freak. Wow. <laughs> I'll second that wow. And raise you a hot damn. They really got to work in here, didn't they? Can you believe it? After the hectic morning I've had with the crew to get this set up, I can. I had to yell at some guy named Troy a lot. He kept wanting to cover up the TBD signage with raw logos entirely. <laughs> Sounds like Troy. I'm really glad that I could do this for you, Geneva. For us. Did you ever imagine that we'd be here? Honestly? You main eventing a TBD show feels pretty familiar to me. This one just has more logos. You know what I mean. This is different. Later tonight, I'm gonna win the WWE Women's World Championship in the house we built. Living the dream. Hey, you get ready. I've got some contracts to look at. <laughs> Same as always. But seriously, don't get too caught up in paperwork that you forget to enjoy yourself tonight. This is big. Big, big. I know. It is. And I won't. But I also know you'll enjoy this enough for the both of us. Good luck out there. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Women's World Championship! It's a TBD homecoming for the captain! You can see the emotion all over Cap's face. We are tied in this best of three series, and she wants to win it at home. That might be the daydream, but the nightmare comes when she loses it all in front of her hometown crowd.
BST of WWE has come to TBD. Do you think Bianca's got jitters here tonight, competing out of her element on the captain's home turf? Bianca Belair is a world-class athlete and superstar, no matter what the venue. I think she'll be just fine. Bianca wants to show everyone in TBD why she's the EST. Introducing the challenger from Phnom Penh, Cambodia, Stephanie! And her opponent from Knoxville, Tennessee, the WWE Women's World Champion, Bianca Belair! We see it there, the Women's World Championship, the reward for coming out on top in this match. A symbol of dominance for the woman who possesses the coveted title. It's the main event of WWE at TBD. The title is at stake as TBD original cap takes on Bianca Belair in a rubber match for the Women's World Championship. A WWE title defended all over the world and now at a U.S. indie promotion? I never would have believed it. Well, believe that despite the feel-good story, Cap has a huge challenge ahead of her to walk away champion here tonight. Kidneys. Golly. The hit's adding up a little on the champ. Counters. Oh! She's pushed into the corner. She's fighting back. Oh! Trying their opponent's arm out. Carefully measured double stop. Tap in the leg with a DDT. Oh. Bianca is losing any remnants of control now. Belair is not gauging the situation accurately. Ooh. Trading back and forth blows now. Belair able to counter. Oof. Slugging away with everything they've got. Neither competitor is backing down. Ooh. Who will break first? That is the question. Reversal catches Bianca. Exhaustion setting in, and neither one of them is letting up. Turning the tables. Drop kick. Drop. Goes into the pin. A lot of energy left in that kick out. This matchup isn't anywhere near over. Oh, no. Dangerous maneuver there. And the EST reminding the world why she is the strongest. Wow. Oh, man. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. Yeah, as Beller is clearly looking to prove she is the toughest competitor around these parts. Going up top. From the top. Oh, straight to the floor. A terribly risky move. And it did not pay off. Icarus could have done it better. Ooh, great agility on display. Now the leverage in this match is in Bianca's favor. Bianca's keeping the pressure on. Now looking for something to waylay her opponent with. 
a table. And guys, I don't think there will be any place settings. And now she's getting back into the ring. Oh, meet the backside of an elbow. And what's she gonna do with this table? Set up a buffet. What do you think she's gonna do, Saxton? Coming back in the ring. Oh, snapmare takedown and a oh look at a kick. Oh. oh, that'll send a shock down your spine. They're setting the table on fire. Oh my god. Could break a rib. A uh, Bianca Belair pulling one out of Beth Phoenix's playbook. The champion into the cover. She gets a quick kick out there. I can't believe the ref didn't get two here. Ah, oh, jeez. Hard for the champ to fight back from this. And this is, uh, well, it's not looking good. Belair predicted that. Reversal after reversal, proving they did their homework. She is just desperately trying to fight out of it. Quick back elbow, detours that offense. Showing off the quickness, that'll turn things around in a hurry. Ridiculous standing shooting star. That's one way to create some separation. Oof, and that's not the result she was looking for. Uh-oh. Double leg drop. She's going. Receiving end up. Came down like a wrecking ball on a cinder block. I don't know who's feeling this more. Her or the crowd. At this point, this is incredibly ill-advised. You're in the middle of a match. She will wisely return to the ring now. Nice down kick, great elevation. And an overbearing amount of offense against Belair here. Belair now just trying to survive. Uh, she's trying, trying to create space. Uh-oh. Oof, getting cut down by surprise. Great display of power down through the table. If this were a tables match, that would be all she wrote. Yeah, I don't see her writing much of anything after going through that table, though. And here we go. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The title might change hands. Try to end it. And the kick out. I knew it would take more than that to put the champ away. But just how much more is needed? The end could still be right around the corner. Confidence must be well. She hits the opposition hard, but still can't get the fall. And Bianca, hold on. She could be looking for a submission move here. Oh, Bianca Belair, I think she's going to tap out. This is not going to be good. It looks like the EST is beginning to fade, Cole. This looks bleak. Not sure why, but she releases the hold. Well, I think she sensed her opponent was about to break free. She turns it right around with a counter. But she has to push. She wants it one more time. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The title's in jeopardy here. I think the paradigm has shifted. And just like that, this journey for the woman they call the captain reaches a conclusion with a victory over Bianca Belair. Hey, this is no 70,000-seat stadium, but on this night in this small theater, this audience feels like WrestleMania. Well, there's nothing like WrestleMania, but I think it means a little bit more to this superstar that her first championship win happened here.
A full circle moment, Corey. This woman has followed a long and winding road that brought her back to her beginning. What's next for this superstar? This WWE Champion? The sky's the limit. What's Becky Lynch doing here? Becky was the number one contender until she got injured after War Games. Becky's not moving like she's injured now. What does she want? What do you think, Saxton? No, 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 no. Not in my ring. TBD promoter Geneva Rose is not having it. I get she's ride or die with our new champion, but what's she gonna do to stop Becky Lynch? You got WWE problems. Go settle them on WWE time. Because believe me when I say, if anyone, anyone tries to interrupt my best friend's hard won moment, it's gonna be me. No, they've been friends for years. Don't trust anybody. This is an assault. This is karma, Saxton. You can only step on so many people before you pay the piper. And she's paying now, but for what? Thanks for coming home, Cap. It was so generous for you to put this show together for me. I know you think I'm slumming it around here, but you forget that I'm proud of what we built together. And I know you're used to taking the credit for everything. So I thought it was important for me to make an appearance tonight, to set the record straight. You'd be nothing without me. Let me be clear. I am not just some best friend side character in your hero's journey. What do you think I've been doing since you left? Sitting around and just following your career with rapt attention? You moved on. I didn't. And I've been putting everything I have into growing TBD. So, when Becky approached me, I was more than happy to help turn your moment into my moment. You can feel the bitterness from Geneva Rose, the jealousy. Recognize this? The contract we wrote in the diner when we first started TBD. Yeah, I had it framed. Thought it was a nice touch. Especially now, because according to this legally binding document, you're still signed exclusively to TBD. You can't work anywhere else. You can't be champion anywhere else. And you belong to me. But she's a WWE superstar. Not according to Geneva Rose. See you next week, Cap. Don't be late. Well, that didn't go quite like I thought it would. No, it did not. What are we gonna do? So some bad news about that. Geneva sent a photo of the TBD contract to legal and the napkin checks out. But it's on a napkin. A legally binding napkin. You're still signed to TBD. And as long as that's the case, you can neither be WWE Women's World Champion nor a WWE superstar. You're not serious. Unfortunately, I am. 
the title will revert back to Bianca. Although now that she's healed, Becky will have an opportunity next week. This is completely unfair. It may be, but my hands are tied. Good luck out there. It's been something.
Bad? Think so? Is it working?
Hit her again. Hit her again. Stop it. I don't want to hear it for someone who cares so much about taking care of the business. You're not taking care of your own right now. And you, you haven't been blameless in this. Seriously, stop acting like children. Figure this out. Not so easy without someone to prop you up. You never would have gotten anywhere without me. If you wanted me back here so bad, why the hell did you push me away to WWE? I didn't think you'd succeed. This is really all because you got jealous of my success? You were jealous of me? I was never jealous of you! I was jealous you brought more of yourself to WWE than you ever brought to me! Oh. 
<laughs> oh. Do you feel any better now? That you forced me back here? Ugh. No. And I hurt like hell. Oh, same. <laughs> now that makes me feel better. You were the one who always wanted me to try new things. Push myself harder, level up. Aren't you happy that I finally started taking real chances? I am. I would have been happier if you'd done it sooner. Maybe I wasn't ready yet. Maybe I wasn't able to push you far enough. But you did all of this, Geneva. You were the one who pushed me to the tryout, who, who pushed me to accept Regal's offer. I just didn't realize what I was giving up. Who I was giving up. You never gave me up. Besides, I'm here now, aren't I? <clears throat> nah. You're fired. What? We're getting you back to where you belong. It's not going to be easy to get you back to WWE. If it's gonna be way too much work, aside from the constant bullying from you, I've actually been enjoying my time back in TBD. Is it even worth it? <laughs> I'm totally kidding. Regal's been calling me every day trying to get me to release you from your contract. And I happen to know from him that Becky needs a challenger for the Women's World Championship at WrestleMania. I hate you right now. Love you too. Listen, since I'm more or less the reason you're in this position in the first place... More or less? Okay! Entirely the reason you're in this position in the first place, okay? I'll handle all the arrangements and annoying contractual paperwork stuff for your once-in-a-lifetime surprise mystery opponent return at WrestleMania. Wow. This... Is gonna be huge. Thank you. You should, uh, put the contract on a napkin. <laughs> Maybe I will. You've had a number of personalities in your WWE career. What you need to decide now is how you want to return at WrestleMania. I've spent my whole career marching to the beat of my own drum. And my WrestleMania return's gonna be no different. I'll put together something new. I respect that. Just make sure you have your gear and entrance plan all set by WrestleMania. You sure you can handle that? Don't worry. I'll have it ready. And this time, I want you by my side. By your side? What are you talking about? Come with me to WWE. It's clear you can still go in the ring, or they can definitely use you backstage. You could run circles around Troy. Oh, Cap. You know I'd love to. But I can't. We both know Regal will sign you. It's not about Regal. <sighs> TBD's been growing since you left, and the co-branded WWE show pushed us even further. I belong here promoting the next generation of wrestlers. <laughs> I've got to go my own way. 
You go yours. This feels worse than before. More final. Hey, sometimes you've got to have an ending to have a new beginning, right? But that doesn't mean I won't be at WrestleMania. I'll just be in the crowd, cheering my lungs out. Kayla Braxton here, just hours from the official start of WrestleMania with women's world champion Becky Lynch, who still doesn't know the identity of her mystery opponent tonight. Becky, are you at all worried that not being able to prepare for a specific opponent will leave you at a disadvantage tonight? I know a thing or two about disadvantages, Kayla. But what I know about disadvantages are overcoming and rising above them. Case in point. After my injury at War Games, I came back better than before, dispensed of the person responsible for that injury so hard that she had to leave WWE, and then made quick work of Bianca Belair and the Women's World Championship. I may not know who my opponent is tonight, but I know this. I'm walking out of WrestleMania WWE Women's World Champion. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Women's World Championship. Listen to that ovation for the Women's World Champion, Becky Lynch. The man had to crawl over broken glass to win gold again. Whoever her mystery opponent is had better be ready for the fight of her life. One thing you know for sure is that Becky Lynch is going to give it everything she's got. Becky Lynch walked in as champion and intends to walk out the same way. It's Cap. The mystery opponent is Cap. Look at the glare from the champion. Becky Lynch is ready to start throwing hands. And she has every right to. Trying to sabotage the man's WrestleMania moment by bringing Cap back at the last second deserves a punch in the mouth. Introducing the challenger from Phnom Penh, Cambodia, Stephanie! And her opponent from Dublin, Ireland, the WWE Women's World Champion, Becky Lynch! That is what it's all about. 
what every woman claws and scratches for, the Women's World Championship. Cap's journey to WrestleMania saw her claw her way from the Indies to the top, only to be hurled back down again. But now, on the heels of this surprise appearance, she's here on the grandest stage of them all. Somehow, it seems that each obstacle Cap has faced on the road to the showcase of the Immortals has made her stronger. I may not have always been Cap's biggest fan, but I respect what she's gone through to get to this moment. But all that struggle means nothing if she fails to get the job done against her one-time partner, Becky Lynch. Might have just taken one step closer to the title with that powerbomb. Tetlip German suplex. Well, they say everyone has a plan until they get punched in the mouth. Well, someone just threw their plan out the window. Drop kick right to the spine. Becky has lost any momentum here. Becky's facing adversity here. Oh, leg drop across the back of the neck. Sometimes you just gotta show off and show out. Ah, shot to the back. Seated drop kick connects. Going way up high. From the top, elbow drop, good lord. More offense like that and we could be looking at a new champ. Standing shooting star press, incredible. Incredible agility. Cover for the championship. Strong kick out of two from the champion. Obviously still has some fight left. The end for Lynch could be on its way. Oh, here we go. Oh my god. Cap has made a definitive statement by returning to WWE and becoming the Women's World Champion at WrestleMania. What a return. I can't wait to see the next chapter. If her first outing is any indication, the sky's the limit for this superstar who's proven she's ready to not only put her body, but her whole heart on the line when it comes to this business. I love to see you get nostalgic, Byron, thinking about the past. I'm thinking about the future. What personalities will she bring? What epic battles will she fight? What will she unleash upon the WWE Universe? I guess we'll find out. Soak it in, Cap. You deserve this moment. For Byron Saxton and Corey Graves, I'm Michael Cole. This is your new champion, and this is WrestleMania.